Welcome to this tutorial on the research and quoting tools available on Personal Finance Lab. You can access everything from the Investing Research tab on the main menu. The menu is divided into five different sections. The first section, called Markets, will give you an overview of how the markets are performing as a whole. This is a great place to start your day to see what has happened since the last market close and get a flavor for where the markets are headed. For example, click on Economic Rates to see the current interest rates, treasury bills, as well as labor and economic indicators. The Trading Ideas section includes two different tools that we will review at the end of the video that help you get started with investing your money in the stock game. The third section, called Stock Research, provides links to each subsection of our quoting tools. If you click any of these links, you will notice a left-hand panel appears that has the same links as the Investing Research menu for easy navigation. We will review the highlights of our stock research tools in just a moment. The Mutual Fund and ETF Research section is an excellent place to visit when you're ready to diversify your portfolio beyond just stocks. Use the symbol lookup feature to search for mutual funds or ETFs, and then access more information below, including the fund's performance, top holdings, and their percentage weight within the portfolio. The last section includes a link back to this video in case you ever need a refresher, as well as an activity for comparing stocks that we will also review in more detail at the end of this video. With the stock research tools on Personal Finance Lab, you have access to all the information you need on publicly traded companies to understand whether the company you're looking at would be a good investment or not. A great place to start is the symbol lookup page. From here, you can enter the name of a company to get the ticker symbol, as well as more detailed information about its financial performance. Start typing a name into the search box. Choose whether you want to search by symbol or company name. A list will appear below. Choose the option without any additional letters to get the common stock trading on the major US exchanges. From here, you can use the left side panel to view more information about the company. Click on Detailed Quote to get a comprehensive snapshot of how the company has been performing, with a chart that shows one day to five years. On the side, you have the last price and trading volume, the day's change in price and percentage, and more key performance data on the stock. If you scroll down the page, you will see recent company news that could explain any sudden changes in share price. From the left side panel, click on Price History to see a candlestick chart of the last 30 days. This is great if you're doing any technical analysis and want to understand the longer term trends. Below the chart, you can go deeper into the weeds by selecting the dates to be displayed on screen. For further analysis, you can download the price history for the stock. Choose to either download the dates selected or the last 12 months. For anyone interested in fundamental analysis, you can click Financial Statements from the left side panel. You can review the income statements, balance sheets, and cash flow statements over a quarterly or annual basis for all publicly traded companies in the United States. Depending on the company you're researching, you can go back several years or decades to compare how the business has evolved over time. Once again, this information is downloadable if you want access to the financial statements in a spreadsheet format. If you go a little further down on the left side panel under Advanced Research, you can use the Key Ratios page to view up-to-date accounting ratios. You'll be able to find the P-E ratio, earnings per share, dividend yield, and more all the essential information you need to make an informed investing decision. If you've used any stock screeners before, you'll find that Personal Finance Lab has one too. You can expand your research by using the filters to gather a vast amount of financial information based on specific criteria like market capitalization or industry. But don't worry if this is too advanced for you. The next section is for anyone brand new to investing research. Remember the trading ideas page we mentioned at the beginning of the video? This is one of the most popular pages on Personal Finance Lab for a reason. If you don't know how to get started, this is the best place to get inspired. On the trading ideas page, you'll have a list of eight different stocks to choose from. Some you might recognize just from the logo. If nothing is jumping out at you, click the refresh button and a brand new set of companies will appear. If you scroll down the page, you'll get a list of eight different mutual funds to choose from. Use the refresh button to get a new batch. 
When you're ready to buy some shares, click the buy button and you'll be taken to the trading page where you can complete your order. The small buttons above the buy button will take you back to the stock quote page. Going a step further, you can use the activity Basic Research and Comparing Stocks to learn how to compare two different stocks in the same sector. That way you can discover which would be the best option to hold in your portfolio. In this activity, you will have a step-by-step -step guide that uses some of the tools we introduced to you today. Taking you from finding the right ticker symbol to how to read a stock quote and comparing the key ratios of both companies. By the end of this activity, you'll be a pro at how to use our research tools to make investment decisions. The Explore by Sector is our latest addition to the investing research tools. Here you can explore stocks by sector and industry based on the 11 standard sectors used in the United States. Click the plus button to toggle any of the specific industries open. After making your selection, you'll be brought to a new page with the top publicly trading companies of that industry listed at the top as a bar graph based on their market cap with more detailed financial information below. Click the price quotes tab to view a line graph of the companies in that industry over a five day to 20 year period. You can remove individual companies by clicking their name below the graph. From here, you can easily reference other industries by clicking the Change Industry button. A window will pop up with all the industries as an expandable list. If you have any questions, click Contact Us to speak to a member of our team. Our help desk is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Outside of those hours, you can create a ticket that will receive updates directly to your messaging center on Personal Finance Lab. Thanks for watching.